What's up guys, this is Sony back with another video and today real quick I want to share with you guys my Ryzen Hackintosh build under $500 and today's video basically I'm going to focus on gaming other than like Hackintosh. Now I'll have a part 3 video uh, basically showing you guys running uh, Mac OS Sierra and also I'll have like an in-depth uh, rendering uh, benchmark for like DaVinci, uh, maybe iMovie, maybe Final Cut. But today's video basically I'm going to focus on gaming benchmark and show you guys how this dual view system perform in gaming. Now if you guys did watch my first video, now I did show you know how Mac or Sierra is running if you guys want to see like how to uh, you know like install Mac or Sierra in this uh, Ryzen hack and touch build please give this video a big thumbs up now real quick guys I'm gonna go through the parts real quick I'll also leave the parts list in the video description actually I will leave like two links uh, for the parts so one my parts list and the second one will be a budget parts list so the motherboard I went with Viaster X370 GTN ITX M4 motherboard now if you do use this motherboard with Ryzen 3 2200G you definitely have to update the virus to the latest virus without updating the virus you can use this Viastar uh, X370 GTN motherboard and the CPU I went with of course AMD uh, Ryzen 3 2200G it's a great CPU for gamer and also if you want to build like a budget hack and tosh now if you're planning on using the built-in graphics uh, at this very moment you can so that's the reason my first video I had a uh, RX 580 now I'm having some problem with my RX 580 uh, one of the fan is not working I'm using my reference GTX 1063 gig graphics card running flawlessly the RAM I went with Corsair Vengeance LPX 3000 megahertz RAMs and this uh, XMP profile set to 3000 megahertz and the power supply we have an Antec 650 watt power supply now I don't recommend you guys to pick up this power supply actually you can find this power supply this power supply is really old I would recommend you guys pick up a EVGA 450 watt power supply for maybe Newegg for around 30 to 35 dollar now I have two drive in this uh, system for gaming I'm using a regular mechanical drive uh, the reason I went with mechanical drive guys as you guys know we are in budget uh, because I wanted to stay under $500 so I'm using a 500 gig uh, Western Digital hard drive 72 rpm and I have uh, all this game in the hard drive I'm running Hackintosh on the Sandix uh, SSD I believe that's 120 or 128 gig like I say uh, I will leave the link in the video description description and uh that should be it guys the case you guys can pick up any type of case uh, the case I'm using is one of the old Corsair case uh, if you guys want uh, the link for this case I'll leave also a link in the video description but the thing is I would recommend you guys go with maybe NZXT S340 case or some other uh, cheap case because this case is really old only reason I'm using most of these parts here because I had all these parts laying around also I'm not using the stock Ryzen 3 uh, 2200G cooler because uh, the cooler doesn't fit properly because of those two RAM stick just because this motherboard is a ITX motherboard that's the reason I'm using an older uh, cooler from uh, AMD uh, HE3 I believe 50 CPU so but temperature is pretty good later on maybe I'll get uh, a different cooler maybe Kyrick M9i all right guys let's not waste any more time and let's just jump into gaming benchmark if you guys have any other question don't forget to leave in the uh, comment below i'll be more than happy to answer you guys so let's just jump in